So guys, what do you want to do today? I really want to dress up like a woman today. Dude! Me too! Let's play playtime! Yeah! Mm -mm -mm. This dinner looks delicious, honey. Yeah, all thanks to mommy. Now say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oop, I'm getting a call. Uh, hello? Hey, I need you to come to my car. <laughs> All right, Big Daddy, I'm on my way. All right, Mommy gotta go make some more money for these damn bills. Be good, okay? Dad, where's Mom going? She's gonna go sleep with my ex-boss for money. Oh, well, what are you doing? Letting her. <laughs> All right, Mr. Moneybags, how are we doing it this time? Should I get the whipped cream? No, you're fired. What? Yeah, I found a girl that can do it better and cheaper. Her name's Veronica. It's like harmonica, but with a V. But how am I gonna pay my bills? Not my problem. I'm about to bang Veronica on the hood of my Jeep. <laughs> come on, Veronica. Take this missionary. Uh, uh, come on, stupid ketchup. Uh. Dad, the ketchup's fake. <laughs> We're gonna be homeless. Quick, sell all the food right now. Wait, homeless? I thought you had a job. No, I got how do you get fired from slobbing knob? I suck at it. I thought that was the point. You know, if she was good at slobbing knob, our marriage would still be together, right, Sally? Dad? <laughs> if you had a job, I wouldn't have to slob knob. If you slob my knob, I'd probably get a job. <laughs> Dr. Seuss had ass. Wait, Sally, you go to your room and eat your vegetables. Wait, but if mom doesn't have a job, does this mean we can't afford my violin lessons? Fuck your violin lessons! You suck that! Anyway. Hey, she was gonna be the best violinist. Her grandfather was a good violinist. Her grandfather was ass just like you! No, my grandfather was the best violinist in all of Paris and he went down with the Titanic. He could barely pull a fucking string! Okay, that's it. I'm leaving this house. I want nothing to do with you and I want nothing to do with you. I'm leaving and I'm gonna go start my own family. What? You're leaving? Oh, I don't feel good. Mom, are you okay? Oh, what's happening now? Are you faking having a heart attack? Ugh, I'll take her to the hospital. Ooh. Stop acting like that. The doctor will be here in a second. Hi, Dale. Welcome to the hospital. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I'm in so much pain, doctor. Let me check your heartbeat. Oh. Yeah, bitch, Dale. Oh, my ovaries. Check my ovaries, doctor. Let me see. Oh. Ma'am, it looks like you have a penis. Patrick, we're pretending. Oh. Oh, that's a very big vagina you have there, ma'am. Oh, thanks, doctor. Oh. I think she's gonna be okay. Oh, no, 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 doctor. I need you to take me to the exam room. For what? Oh, that sounds crazy. Hold on, I have to take her to the exam room for further um examination. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking them so long? <sighs> well, after some very strenuous tests, we've determined that your wife is very sick. Very, very sick. Sick in the head. Well, what's wrong with her, doctor? She has cancer of the vagina. The worst type of cancer. And she's also probably pregnant. I mean, maybe. <laughs> she fucking should be. Well, pregnant? Well, what if it's not even my kid? Uh, tell him about the DNA test, doctor. Let me swab your mouth. Uh, I mean, um, we did the DNA test. It's your kid. Yep, what? you the daddy, bitch. What? We're having another kid? Yeah, we're gonna have another kid, Junior. <laughs> the medical bills are gonna be very expensive from your chemo and also your baby. Oh, oh, baby, listen, I'll get five jobs if I have to. I'll wait on you hand and foot. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of your cancer and the new kid. I'll be a perfect husband, I promise. Really? You're the dream husband all he's wanted? We're gonna fix our marriage. This, this right now, we're gonna be a perfect couple. I'm gonna go look for five jobs. <laughs> okay, baby. Uh, thank you, doctor, for lying for me. Okay, but you owe me round two. <laughs> Oh, let's get it on then. Ooh, I could lose my medical license for this. <laughs> Mama Mia, so what makes you want to work for Papa Murphy? Well, Papa Murphy, my wife has cancer and she's also pregnant. Oh, ravioli! She has a meatball in the oven and the oven has cancer! Yeah, so I really need a job to pay for the medical bills. Oh, dang, that sucks. I guess Papa Murphy has to have a heart. I'll hire you. Uh, do you know how to ride a bike, though? Yes, I know how to ride a bike. Okay, so get delivering these pies! I thought I was delivering pizzas, not pies. P pies is Italian for pizza, duh! And it's also a mathematical equation. <laughs> okay, I'll start delivering the pizzas. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the job. I won't let you down. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> beep, beep! Get out of the way, you fucking loser! Sorry, I'm on a bike delivering pizzas. Honey, look. That's a fucking loser. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> 
Hey, knock a little harder next time. I almost didn't hear you. Pizza time. Oh, how much? $20. Uh, here you go. Wait, uh, no tip? <laughs> here's a tip. Get a better paying job. <laughs> Well, my wife has cancer. Okay, here's another tip. Tell your wife to get better jeans. <laughs> um, sir, my my twenty dollars is underneath your door. Sir, the the money for the pizza is under the door. I don't give a shit. But I won't be able to. My boss is gonna fire me if I don't have that money. I sir. don't give a shit. Okay, can. You, Oh, I'm gonna be so fired and my wife's cancer is gonna get worse. Please, sir. What part of I don't give a shit do you not understand? I'm gonna throw my bike at your door. Don't do that. That was my bike. Fuck you. Oh, okay. Another round coming right up. You better not throw your fucking you bike. I missed it. But this hey, time. Asshole. What are you doing? Hey! Fuck you, man! Yo, yeah, fuck you! Fuck up yours, you, little buddy. bitch! No, Keep no! Keep fucking 20 dollars! Now, where's your wife at? Yeah, no, she's gonna have a real penis! I'll have one! <sighs> On your first delivery, you throw a bike at a customer, and then you say, hey, where's your wife? Let her have a real penis! Listen, Papa Murphy, that customer was extremely rude and said some very hurtful things to me and my wife. And then and he, he wouldn't even pay for the pizza. I mean, he paid for it, but the money was on the ground, and I tried to. I don't wanna hear it! You make I promise you'll get your mozzarella, Papa Murphy. I, I won't let this happen again. Look, I'm gonna let it slide this time since you have a kid on the way and stuff. But the next time you make a mistake, I'm gonna shove a lasagna up your ass. You got me? I understand, Papa Murphy. I need this job. Nothing bad will ever happen again. I hope not. Look, we got one more delivery. Deliver this damn pie and bring back my money. I need my cash. You got me? Okay, I will bring back cash. I promise. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Hello? Excuse me, ma'am, I have your pizza here for you. Oh my god, thank you! Uh-oh, I don't have any money to pay you. Uh-oh, you're not getting your fucking pizza. Wait, 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 what if there's another way I can pay you? Um, I think we accept credit card if you pay online. No, is there any other way I can pay you, big boy? Uh, well, I think... Your pizza came with U.S. average size sausage. Well, you better bring that sausage in here. Uh, think of your wife. She has cancer. Think of the new kid. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> oh, man. That was totally not worth possibly losing my job over. Well, it was worth it for the pizza for me. The post-nut clarity is kicking in. I gotta go. What? what the hell is going on here? Annabelle, you're cheating on me with the pizza boy? Only once, and we got free pizza. But baby, I got pizza earlier. Well, now we have more for later. Okay, I'm not mad at you, but you, you banged my girlfriend and you threw a bike at my door. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh God. Well, I guess both my heads got pounded today. Oh, my boss is gonna kill me. <laughs> Well, sir, I delivered the pizza, and they gave me the money, and then I was riding my bike, and this guy, he came out with a baseball bat, and he robbed me, and he beat the shit out of me. Julia, does it look like I'm hungry right now? No. Why are you feeding me fucking excuses? Where's that money? Where is it? Oh, they, 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 they robbed me. That's why I had the money. It was stolen. I don't want to hear that. Let me smell it. Smell what? What, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sardines! What? Yeah, I knew it. And you smashed the girl so she wouldn't have to pay for her pizza. How would you know that? Because I used to be a delivery boy. I used to come home smelling. Chainsaw. What chainsaw? Yeah, I'm about to cut that pair girl off! Oh, no, no, I promise I'll pay you back, I promise! Oh, you better bring me my money, you got 24 hours! Bring me my shit! No, I'm cutting it off! Okay, okay, I'll bring my money up, I promise! Think it's a game? <gasps> Papa Murphy needs his fucking money! Uh, welcome to Goodman Bank and Trust. Hey, you're the fucking loser on the bike! What are you doing in my bank? I'm looking for a loan. Well, you better look somewhere else! We don't give out loans to losers who only have a fucking bike as their only means of transportation! Look, man, I'm desperate. I don't have a job. Oh, even more of a reason for me not to give you a loan! You basically just told me that your credit score is a two! Look, my wife's pregnant and she has cancer. Even more of a reason for me not to give you a loan! I'll do anything for money, please! I'll do anything for a loan! Well, do you have anything to put up for collateral? I have a house. 
Well, how much do you owe on the house? It's paid off. Oh, yes, that. How much money do you need? Uh, about $10,000. That'll solve all my problems. Oh, perfect. Here you go. A $10,000 collateral loan. If not paid back by the end of the month, I take your fucking house. Okay, deal. I promise I'll pay this back. I fucking doubt it. All right. Thank you so much, sir. You're not going to regret this. Oh, I already don't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bet $10,000 on black and solve all my problems. Welcome to Goodman Casino. Wait, you own the casino too? Yep, I love money. All right, well, I'm gonna bet the $10,000 I got a loan from you for on black and double my money so I can pay you back and pay off all my problems. All right, but if you lose, I get your house and the money. Oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna lose because I got a 50-50 chance and I, I think it's gonna be black. All right, let's see. I, I bet on black. I know, I'm not fucking retarded. What color is it? What color? What is that? It's red. Red 36. You fucking lose. Wait, I, I lose all that money? Yep, and I get to take your house. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I'm coming to pick up my house tonight. What are that place? No, please. I lost everything. My wife has cancer. She's pregnant and now I'm going to lose my house. <laughs> Hey, Richard, you still have to let me back in my real house. Mark, come on, fuck. Oh, man, Mom. This chalupa from Taco Bell sure does look good. I can't wait to have watery diarrhea later. Anything for my baby. Mom, why are you bald? You look like Will Smith's wife. Oh, don't tell you, Daddy, but I lied and said I had cancer. And I had to shave my head to make it look real. Oh, and I might be pregnant, but I'm not sure about that. Wow, Mom, that's really fucked up. Hey, it's life, nigga. Deal with it. Eat your little chalupa. Wait a minute, did I just hear what I think I heard? <gasps> Junior, what are you doing home so early? Well, I got home after a really rough day and I just heard you lie and say you're faking your cancer. No, 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 the cancer's real. You know, that the chemotherapy made me delirious and loopy and stuff. No way in hell, because I just lost the house because I went and got a collateral loan for $10,000 and I lost it at the casino trying to double it because I owed Papa Murphy $20 and now we're going to lose the house all because you faked your cancer diagnosis. What? You lost the house? Yeah, now we're going to be home. Fuck your violin lesson! I hate this dead ass! You, you, you are a whore! You're a fucking slug! You're stupid bitch! Idiot. You bald headed and bald bitch! Give me that pecker! Oh, that's Papa Murphy! I told you I owed him $20! Papa Murphy? He's gonna come and pick her up! Oh, well, Papa Murphy was gonna cut my wiener off because I owe him 20 bucks because instead of getting money for a pizza delivery, I ended up banging the girl that ordered the pizza. So then I got a $10,000 collateral loan on the house that me and Joseph own. And with that $10,000, I bet at a casino and I lost it all. So we're about to lose the house. Well, now your friends have to go home for making all that damn noise. Okay, I'll see you later, guys. Okay. It was just getting good. Marvin, do you know what day it is? Uh, Wednesday? No, Marvin, it's a special day. It's trash day, I have to take the trash out? No, Marvin, it's the most important day. Breakfast? No, that's the most important meal. Hey, Daddy, can I wear my bunny suit and listen to Hop Hop and dance on the couch all day? Well, Jenny, shut up. Uh, baby, I don't know what today is. What is it? Marvin, I can't believe you forgot it's our anniversary. <laughs> Ooh, Daddy forgot. Well, today's not our anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I remember, today, I, yeah, I knew today was our anniversary. No, you didn't. Yeah, yes, I did. I, I knew today was our anniversary. I actually got you a gift. It's in the car. You did? Yeah, yeah, I bought the gift weeks ago. I left it in the car, and I had to go get it. So just wait right here. Let me go get it. Hey, Mommy, I totally think you should go with Daddy to the car to get your present. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, you should stay right here. I can go with you, Marvin. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want you to walk outside. Like, it's just your day. It's our special day. You should sit on the couch and relax, and I'll go get the gift out of the car because it, it's in pieces. I got to put it together. I don't want you to see it when it's not complete. Okay, Marvin. Yeah, so wait right here. No one follow me. I got to go to the car to get the present. Oh, man, I can't believe I forgot me and Rose's anniversary. Where am I going to find a gift at the last minute? Is that a bunny rabbit? I can give her a bunny rabbit. Uh... Hey, little bunny rabbit! Oh, no, 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 don't, don't run away! I got, I got a snack for you! I got a snack for you right here! Come here, come here, come here! Hold still, you stupid bunny rabbit! Should I put breathing holes? He's only gonna be there for a second. Come on! All right, baby, here's your gift! Oh my gosh! 
much, Marvin. You did remember. Hey, dang, look, I got my bunny shoe on. That's great, Jeffy. Yeah, here's your gift. Marvin, why is it wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper? Because I couldn't find any other wrapping paper downstairs. I mean, I, I didn't want to buy new wrapping paper because I wanted to use the old one because I want to recycle pollution. Oh, okay. Uh, but why is it moving? Yeah, dang, did you cut your wiener off and put it in the box? Why would I cut my wiener off, Jeffy? I don't know, because like when you cut a snake's head off, it still moves. What, Jeffy, shut up. told you that? How did you know? Uh, because I just know you because we've been married for so long. I know you. Oh, heck no. There can only be one bunny rabbit in this house and I'm right here. Well, Jeffy, stop it. It's, it's her gift. So what are you going to name it? I'm going to name him Thumper. Humper? Why would you name him Humper? Like, <laughs> well, no, no, Jeffy. It's, <laughs> it's not Humper. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a Humper with, it's, no, it's Thumper with a TH. Oh, the Humper. <laughs> no, Jeffy, stop it. No, it's not. Listen, uh, no, just leave, okay? Marvin, just, I have a question. No, what? What did? Why did you have to say that you had to put it together? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I had to put your gift together because I had to, um, I, I had to put them in the box. I didn't want them to suffocate, so I had to go and put them in the box. That's that's what I meant when I had to put your gift together. When you also said that you had them in the car for weeks. <gasps> No, 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 no. I bought them at the pet store weeks ago, and then they just dropped them off to my car right now. They they put them in the car for me. Well, does the bunny rabbit want some of my carrot? Uh, I, I'm I'm sure he would love your carrot. Last two days. Here's my carrot. Oh, okay, Jeff, can you please leave? It's our anniversary. We want to spend time together. Yeah, I'm going to go make you guys the anniversary present. You don't have to do that. Ugh. Well, baby, do you, do you like your bunny rabbit? I do, Marvin, but I still have some questions. What? Like, do you have the papers from the pet store? I I, I left them there. I got to go print them out later. I, I mean, go back to the store and get them. Well, baby, baby, just enjoy your gift. I mean, it's I got a bunny rabbit for you. It's not like I went outside and grabbed it just now and just put it in a box to make it look like it's your gift. Okay, Marvin, you're right. And I love him. Thumper's the best. Yep, you go, just go play with him. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make a carrot cake for my mommy and daddy's anniversary. First thing, I need some carrots. <coughs> Looks like enough carrots. The next thing we need is some eggies. <coughs> Darn it, I missed. <coughs> oh, missed again. I don't know why I keep missing. <coughs> you know what? There we go. All right, the next thing we need is the carrot cake mix. And then, last but not least, some flour. All right, Thumper, do you want to play with your little carrot toy? No? Oh, okay, okay. Well, how about this thing? <gasps> Thumper, where are you going? Come back! All right, put the cake in there. Let me make sure the oven's at 550 degrees. All right, yep, sure is. All right. Jeffy, have you seen Thumper any? Oh, Jeffy, you made a mess. Marvin's going to be so mad at you. Well, I was just trying to make you and Daddy an anniversary cake. Oh, that's so sweet, Jeffy. You have fun. Thanks, Mommy. It'll be done any minute. Marvin, have you seen Thumper anywhere? Thumper? I hardly knew her. What? I was just doing what you <laughs> I was just doing what Jimmy did earlier. It's not funny, Marvin. Well, you're, you're looking for Thumper? If he ran away, we can just go to the pet store and buy you a new one. What? I mean, Mommy, Daddy, I made you your anniversary cake. Aw, Marvin, who would have thought we would raise a little baker? But my name is Jeffy. It's not Baker. Well, there's just carrots popping out. It looks gross. It looks cute, Marvin. Look at the carrots and the sprinkles and the icing and... Wait, what's this? Oh, my God, it's Thumper! Oh, Put thumpers in the cake, Jimmy! But why would you get in there? Why would you put thumper in the cake? You act like I did this on purpose! Because you did do it on purpose, Jimmy. You were jealous of this bunny rabbit because when you saw him, you said you wanted to be the only bunny rabbit in the house. But here's the thing, Daddy. I don't give a fuck. See, see that's, that's what you, you don't care. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You killed this bunny rabbit on purpose. You're a murderer. You, you kill animals. No, I don't. I didn't even do this on purpose. I didn't know he was getting in the cake. That's it, Jimmy. You are grounded. For how long? For a month. Okay, can we lock that in? What, what do you mean, can we lock it in? So you can't add any more time to it? Can we lock it in for a month? What, what, why would you want to lock it in? Because I don't want you to add any more time to it when you see the kitchen. What, what's wrong with the kitchen? Because that's at least a year, Daddy. <laughs> oh, that's it, Jimmy! <laughs> Why'd you make this big mess? But you locked in a month, Danny, so deal with it. What you did? Oh, no, 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 I didn't lock in a month. You're gonna be grounded longer than a month. You know what? You're gonna be grounded for life because I'm kicking you out of my house. But, Father, how can you do this to your. 
perfect shot. Oh, you're the opposite of perfect. I'm calling the cops to put you in foster care. Hey there, somebody called the cops? Yes, officer. I want to kick him out of my house. Didn't you adopt him? Yes, but I want to unadopt him because I hate him. Well, he turns 18 in August. Can't you just wait? No, I can't wait. You don't understand. He makes my life a living hell. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Are you listening? I'm listening. Okay, listen. I know his dad's dead, and I know his mom's in jail, but he has to have some other family members he can go live with because I don't want him to live here. Well, lucky for you, I have this new app on my phone called Family Finder that'll help me find anybody he's related to. Wait, does it work? Well, let's see. Let's take a picture of him, and huh, wow, look at that. He has two grandparents that live not far from here. Well, he has two grandparents, really? Yeah, I guess I could send him to live with them. You hear that, Jeffy? You're going to go live with your grandparents. Please don't do that to me, father. Wait, I don't care if you talk to me in a British accent. It's not going to work. Drop him out with his grandparents. Oh, why do you want to kick him out so bad? Because I got my wife the perfect anniversary gift. I got her a pet rabbit, and she keeps looking at it because she's so... <laughs> She's so upset that it's dead because he baked into a cake. Oh my god, why would you do that? Because it's wabbit season. Well, it's actually duck season. Wabbit season. 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 All right, fine. I'm going to take you to live with your grandparents. Come on. Just say goodbye to your parents. Tell Tiny Tim I won't be coming home this Christmas. Oh, Jeffy, stop it. Tell Annie Ann, little yellow out. Jeffy, leave. Tell Scarlett, I do give a damn. Jeffy, get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sorry about your pet rabbit, baby. All right, Jeffy, this is your grandparents' house. You're going to have to stay here from now on. But it's so dark and scary. Yeah, well, this is where you're going to have to stay since you get kicked out of your other house. Maybe don't kill bunnies next time. Come on. Aww. Huh, every bunny welcome. Well, good. That kind of fits with your whole bunny thing. Let's see. Who's that? Uh, hello, ma'am. I'm Brooklyn T. Guy with the police department. You ain't got a warrant! No, ma'am, I, I don't have a warrant. That's not why I'm here. I'm here with your grandson, Jeffy. Jeffy? I ain't seen him in 15 years. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, he needs a place to stay, so I'm thinking he's going to stay here. Oh, come on in, Jeffy. Grandpappy will be so happy to see you. Okay, Grandma. You have fun, Jeffy. Poppy! Your grandson Jeff is here! What? I said your grandson Jeff is here! Uh, let me see him. Hey, Grandpa! Boy, why are you dress like a bunny rabbit? You look like a damn fool! Now hold on, Pappy. You know what the sign on the front door says? It says, Every bunny is welcome! Well, leave me alone. I'm watching the Kiki Room. Oh, I love watching the Kiki. See that over there, Jeffy? That's a Kiki Room. Look at all the Kikis. Good Kikis. Come on, Pappy. Let's go show Jeffy the Kiki Room. Oh, make me get up and shit awful. All right, Jeffy, this is what we call the Kiki Room. This is where all 35 of my babies live. 32 confirmed alive. Jeffy, we don't have TV. TV is the devil. What we have is the Kiki Room, and we watch the Kikis like our own personal little sitcom. Like you see that orange one over there? Well, that one is married to the one right here with the mustache. And then this one over here is his secret lover. So, Jeffy, make sure you're a good boy, or else you'll get fed to the Kikis. And they hungry for freedom. You hear that, Kikis? You stay in that room. Come on, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy, come sit next to your grandpa and watch the Kiki show. Okay. Jeffy, you want grandpa to go get you something nice to drink? Maybe an ice cold Dr. Pepper? Okay, I'll take that. Ain't no damn sodas in this house. What the hell is wrong with you? Sodas is the devil. You drink water. Okay, then I'll have water. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jeffy, let's watch the Kikis. What? Wait, no, somebody come look at this. Kiki, what you doing in the laundry basket? Get out of there. It's not time to wash the dogs. Hey, Kiki, Kiki, you stop digging your balls. Let's go. Kiki, stop it. Can we change the channel? Well, there's only one show, and it's the Kiki show, and you're going to watch it. You know what? Go check on your grandma. She's taking too long. Okay. <laughs> um, Grandma? What you want? Grandma's about to cut up some spam for the Kikis. They ain't eating about two weeks, and they're starving. Oh. Why don't you go get Grandma another can of spam out of the pantry? It's down the hallway, the long, creepy hallway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long, scary hallway? Oh, what is that? It's so scary. Oh, oh an evil Kiki? Oh, well, at least I found the spam. Oh, man, it's stuck on the wall. What's that noise? Hey, ah! 
What are you doing in the hallway? You looking for my Nuna Mags? No. You get back in there and watch the Kiki show. Well, Grandma told me to come get the spam. I'll get the spam. You go on. Okay. All right, Jeffrey, sit back and watch the Kiki Show. I'm tired of Kiki Show. That's too damn bad. Watch it. I got the spam. Oh, can I have a piece? No, it's for the Kikis. Touch it and I'll catch you. Uh, Martha, I don't think this is enough spam for all the Kikis. Well, Pappy, we're out of spam. Oh, no, we're not. I see a whole bunch of spam right here. Wait, me? Yeah. Get over here. Ah! Ah! Get back here. The Kikis are hungry. Get back here, goddammit. Martha, you scared him off! Well, the Kiki's are hungry! Ah, dang, dang, dang! I don't want to live in my grandparents' house anymore! Jeffy, stop yelling. I have a really bad headache. I feel so sick. Hey, Daddy, how'd you get another bunny so quick? Well, I went outside and grabbed another bunny rabbit, and I lied and said the one in the cake wasn't really dead. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna make you a get-well-soon cake. Well, no, Jeffy, you can't make any more cakes! Look, look I'll hold the bunny rabbit back. I, I, don't, I don't want him to cook this one. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm sick, and I wasn't sick when we were filming the rest of the video, and we wanted to get the ending the next day, and then my voice sounded like this, and we still had to upload it, so that's why Marvin's sick like this. Yeah, so make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button, and make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, hit the subscribe button. You already said that. Yeah. <laughs>
What happened, Junior? There's another animatronic in their room. Did it eat them? It had to because they're missing now. Where is it at now? I don't know. It was in their room. Ah! Close the door. Okay. Hold ah! the door shut. I am. I am. Okay. We have to get out of here. Oh, Jeffy, what are those things on the bed? Ah! I don't know, Junior. Oh, okay. They ran away. Okay. Let's, let's go out that doorway right there. Let's go out that doorway. Okay, okay Jeffy. Let's go down the stairs. Ah! I am, but what about the other door? Oh no, they have us trapped. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here and we're just gonna listen and wait for them to leave. But my daddy says I'm not good at listening. Okay, let's try to listen. If we can hear them walk away, then we can escape. Just listen. Okay. I think I heard the move. Check and see if they're still there. Okay. Junior, there's no one there, I promise. Wait, really? Ah! I lied! I guess we're stuck in this room forever. That sounds like a good idea, Junior. Did you hear that noise? It sounds like it came from the closet. Oh no. Okay, Jeffy, open the closet door. No, you open your closet door. You're the one that heard something. Okay. That's just Foxy. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's nice. You're a good guy, right? Uh, you want to kill us? Run! Ah! Ah! Open the door! Open the door! But there's one behind this door too. Oh, Fox is gonna get us. Go! 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 What is that thing? I don't know, Junior. It looks like some kind of puppet. Oh no! The flashlight turned off. We'll turn it back on. I'm trying. Ah! Huh? Honey, what is all that screaming? Isn't Timmy having a sleepover tonight? Well, it's time for him to knock it off. Rumpus time is over. I'm gonna go put an end to this. Boys, knock it off with all that yelling before I take my belt off and fucking hit ya. <laughs> all right, that's it. Spanking time for all four of you. All right, boys, who wants her spanking first? Ah! It's the goddamn Easter Bunny! What the fuck you doing here, Easter Bunny? It's not Easter! Ah! It's the goddamn Smokey the Bear! What the fuck you doing here, Smokey the Bear? There's not a forest fire! Ah! Huh? Hank? Hank, are you okay? Hank! cornered in every room of the house. We can't escape. You want to try that door again? Oh, we can try it again. Come on. Okay, Jeffy. I think one of us should stay here and the other one goes and distracts the monsters so the other person can go get help. Okay. Okay, so I think that... I think you should stay here and I'll go distract the monsters and then I'll tell you when, when to come out so that you can go save yourself, okay? And I'll, I'll go distract them, all right? Okay, I trust you. Yeah, so you, you, you just stay right here and I'll go do all the hard work and, and possibly get eaten. So just stay right here. All right. All right, all right so yeah, just, just, just stay right here. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm going out. <sighs> ah! He's in there, he's all yours. Junior, you motherfucker. I have to save myself. <laughs> I'm almost free, I'm almost free, I'm almost free. Ah! Hey there, I heard a bunch of screaming and thought I'd check it out. Oh, thank God you're here. You know those animatronics from the Freddy Fazbear's place? Yeah. Well, they're here and they're trying to eat me. That's impossible. That place burned down and was demolished and it's also just a video game. They're not even real. No, they're inside the house. They've already ate a few of my friends. So you're telling me, if I go in there, I'm going to see Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy and they're going to try to eat me? Yes, if you go in right now, you'll see them. Okay, I'm going in. But if I don't see them, you owe me $5. Well, I, I don't think you should go in there because they're going to try to eat you. Ah, you just don't want to give me $5. Okay, come inside, but they're gonna eat you. Okay, I will. Okay, be very quiet. They could be anywhere. Okay, well, first of all, it's dark in here. Let's turn some lights on. See, look at that. It's like daytime. Nothing bad has ever happened in the daytime. Except for 9-11 and Pearl Harbor and the JFK assassination and the Boston Marathon bombing. You know what? Let's turn these lights back off. Well, no, no, I like them on. Turn them back on. Okay, if you say so. What? Who just turned the lights off? Wait a minute. I only know one fucker who likes to turn lights off, and it's a balloon fucker. Oh, you motherfucker! You want to dance, huh? Come here! <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to turn the lights off. <laughs> 
I think you knocked his tooth out. No, let me see. Oh yeah, I sure did. Look at that. Maybe I'll put that on a necklace like a shark tooth. You owe me five dollars because the animatronics are here. No, I said Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. I never mentioned the balloon fucker. Well, the other ones are upstairs. Well, then let's get out of here before I owe you five dollars. Well, I kind of abandoned one of my friends upstairs with them. Wh why would you do that? Because I wanted to save myself. Ah, the coward's way out. I like the way you think. But unfortunately, I am a police officer, so I'm supposed to protect and serve. It's my job. Oh, it's a tough decision. Do I let a kid die or owe a kid five dollars? <sighs> okay, let's go save him. Okay, okay, Jeffy's in that room. And you said there's animatronics in here? Uh-huh. Okay, just be ready. Jeffy? Jeffy, are you in here? Uh, I don't see him. What if they ate him? Just calm down, there's gotta be something left. They wouldn't just eat him whole. Jeffy, are you in here? <gasps> He's under the bed. Jeffy? Hey! Oh, they didn't eat you? No, I ran and hid under your bed! Where'd they go? Mexico! Really? I don't know! Kids, let's just get out of here before they come back. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah, hide in the closet! Jeffy, stay there! Hurry, hurry, hide! Okay, kid, we're just gonna hide in this closet until they leave. Good idea. Okay, I think she's gone. Oh no! She just tried to get Jeffy! Yeah, we should probably do something about that, but that's scary. I think we're safe in this closet. <laughs> what? You saying Foxy's behind me? <laughs> oh, hey Foxy! Oh no, don't worry about him, we're friends. Wait, Foxy, what are you doing? We're friends, remember? What are you talking about? Remember all those good times? Look at this montage! Jeffy, come out from under the bed! I'm right here! Let's get out of here while Chica's on the ground! Okay! Ah! Let's go downstairs, let's go downstairs! Ah! It's Freddy! Ah! Ah! I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! Maybe this way! Ah! Oh no! She's chasing me! She's chasing me! Where do I go? Where do I go? Ah! I'm cornered! I have nowhere to go! Ah! Ah! What's wrong, Jeffy? I had a bad dream that all of the Five Nights at Freddy characters were eating us! You just had a nightmare, Jeffy. Yeah, and if you're still scared, we're about to have a sleepover at my house. We can all sleep in my sister's room. Wait, where's your sister at? I don't know. I don't have my sister's location. Uh, actually, it's called Sister Location. That's the name of the next one. So if you want to see the next one, make sure to like the fuck out of this video and subscribe! <laughs>
Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that bloomin' onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. Ugh. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. La, la, la. <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> Wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it at Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! <laughs> Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I wanna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! Oh, sugar! Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! What are you kids doing? Hey, Susie, let's go play in the garbage can. Woo! I'm going to call your parents. Ugh. Marvin, what's all that noise downstairs? The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were...
were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? <sighs> we don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here, it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. <laughs> I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the bus. Hey Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! But chickens can't fly! This one can! One of Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Ah, oh! oh! I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh! oh my god, you hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! Yo, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the head with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, you're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The bloomin' onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The babysitter! Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today! And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today! Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh... A math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8 one so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong?
strong, Mother. It was just a dildo. Shut up! Get your ass home! We're going! Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? What's wrong, Chef PB? Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> oh, Chef PB, he had to retire. He lost his wife and his whole family. Look, shut up and just come and eat breakfast, God! <sighs> All right, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Grape jelly ravioli? Yeah, I thought of it last night. Genius idea. <laughs> now eat up! I think I'm just gonna go to school. But the ravioli! Come on! Alright, Kraus, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there's gonna be six more weeks of winter. What happens if your mom sees her shadow? You know, because she's so fat and massive, like, there's no way she can see her shadow. Because she can't, like, look down because her big fat belly's in the way. Yeah, I get it. She's fat. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Get in my belly. Right. Get in my belly. Right. Alright, Kraus, I'm gonna eat my egg roll and then we'll get started. The teacher's choking! We gotta do something! What the hell are we gonna do, dude? We're kids! Uh, I think he just died. Dude! That means no school! <laughs> hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Do we just go home? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Junior, we just watched our teacher die. What do you want to do now? I don't know. You want to play a game? Oh, yeah. Okay, we could play uh, blackjack or poker. I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on top of the deck, I won't throw the cards all over the place and make you pick them up. Ooh, that sounds fun. It does? Yeah, okay, okay. I want to guess. Uh, I think the top card is the three of leaves. What, what do you mean leaves? You know, the card that looks like a leaf. Are, are you talking about clubs or spades? The one that looks like a leaf, Cody. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Junior, these are the cards. Now, tell me which one you think is which. Okay, so that's obviously hearts. Yeah. And that's diamonds. Yes. And those are three-leaf clovers. N no, those are called clubs. No, those look like three-leaf clovers. Well, they look like that, but that's not what they're called. A and those are leaves. No, those are spades. Cody, those are leaves. They even have a little stem at the bottom. Those are leaves. Yeah, but they're called spades. I'm calling them leaves. Okay, fine. Just pick a card. I think this top card is the three of leaves. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, nope, it's the two of diamonds. Sorry. That means I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. Ugh. Okay, there you go. Pick him up. I'm not gonna help. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> okay, I just picked up all the cards. I'm really tired. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. <sighs> what an exhausting day. I saw my teacher die. I had to pick up 52 cards. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. <sighs> Wake up, it's time to go to school. <laughs> Why are you crying again, Chef PB? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again. Wait, again? Yes, again. But he already retired. I know, he retired again. But like, he already retired yesterday. No, he retired a year ago, stupid. So he retired for a third time? No, only the second time. Look, come downstairs and eat. Shut up. What the? Huh? All right, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Chef Baby, you already made this for me yesterday. No, Junior, this is the first time I ever made this dish. What are you talking about? No, you literally gave this to me yesterday. Stop being crazy, Junior. I just thought of this last night. I'm going crazy. I'm going to go to school. All right, Kraus, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Guys, Groundhog's Day was yesterday. No, Junior, today is Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. No, 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 no. I already lived this day. I lived it yesterday. Junior, are you feeling okay? Wait, what is Groundhog's Day, dude? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. And yesterday I said your mom's so fat she can't even see her own shadow. 
that's a new one. That's nice, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> no, no, I already said that yesterday. Junior, this is the first time I've heard that. Me Rocky Agro, me Rocky Agro, get in my bell right, get in my bell right. All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> Guys, the teacher's choking again. I knew this was gonna happen. We need to help him. What are we gonna do, dude? We're just kids. <laughs> Look, he just died! Dude, that means no school! <laughs> dude, Cody, this happened yesterday. And look, the doctor's about to come in the classroom and do a random death check. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, I told you! Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, this happened yesterday. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Damn, Junior, good guess on the fortune cookie. No, Cody, how would I know it says that? Well, I bet a lot of fortune cookies say that. No, Cody, it's because I already lived this life yesterday. I already know everything is gonna happen today. Junior, I think you should just go home and lay down. Look, I'll come over with you. Okay. I feel like I'm going crazy. Calm down, Junior. Let's just play a card game. You want to play blackjack or poker? I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on the top of the deck, I won't throw the cards everywhere and make you pick them up. It's the two of diamonds. Okay, if you say so. Oh my god. Wow, Junior, that is the two of diamonds. Good guess. I knew it was going to be the two of diamonds. Okay, hot shit. What's the next card on top, then? I don't know. We didn't play that far yesterday. Okay, then just guess. <sighs> the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Just flip it, Cody. Okay. Nope, it's the jack of hearts. Sorry. Guess that means I gotta mess your shit up. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna help you pick him up. I'm gonna go home. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed, and maybe I'm just in a nightmare. Okay, okay, I think I'm just going crazy. It's just like a nightmare. It's a bad dream. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll wake up, and this whole thing would just be a bad dream. Yeah, it's just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream. Okay. <sighs> You wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Wait! Chef B, why are you crying? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> this can't be happening! But it is, Junior! It is happening! No, Chef B, you don't understand! I've already relived this day before! Me too! Like, why would he do this? Retire again? The second time? So crazy! No, Chef B, like, I'm talking, I've relived this day twice already! Junior, are you on drugs or something? No, like, I've relived the whole day, I already know what's gonna happen! Like, for breakfast, you made grape jelly ravioli! What? How do you know about my grape jelly ravioli? That's be a special dish! Because I I've had it before. I had it yesterday and the day before that. You must have overheard me speaking about it in the kitchen. That's what it was. Hm. No, no, I had it yesterday, Chef Pee Pee. It can't be. This is the first time I made this dish. <gasps> I have to go to school. Just get out of my way. But what about Tom Brady? <laughs> What's going on? What's wrong, Junior? You seem like you're freaking out. What's today's date? Well, it's Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. Shut the hell up, Cody! Jesus, Junior, I didn't know you didn't like Groundhog's Day. No, guys, something weird's going on. I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. <sighs> Junior, stop trying to prank us. Yeah, that's not cool, dude. No, guys, I've already relived this day. I know everything's gonna happen. I'll prove it to you. The teacher's about to come up there and say that Ring Ring's bringing him egg rolls. All right, Cross, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. See, guys, I told you. Junior, he loves egg rolls. It's a coincidence his wife would bring them. Yeah, dude. No, guys, he's about to come back with an egg roll singing a song saying, Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. And he's going to choke on an egg roll. What? Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. All right, Cross, I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> See, guys, he's choking! We gotta do something! What are we supposed to do, dude? We're just kids! See, guys, look, he just died! He died? That means no school! <laughs> Junior, how did you know that was gonna happen? Because, Cody, I've been reliving this day over and over and over again. I know everything that's about to happen. Wait, so you knew he was gonna die and you didn't do anything about it? Well, I, I, I just... Wh what? No, Cody, listen, I already knew it was gonna happen. And look, a doctor's about to do a death check right now. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, see? Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. 
My man just died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, listen. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. Look, how will I know that? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. See, Cody, look. How would I know that? Okay, Junior, that is pretty weird. You knew the teacher was gonna get egg rolls, and you knew he was gonna choke on him and die, and then you knew a doctor was gonna come and open a fortune cookie, and you knew what the fortune cookie said. Because I've relived this day over and over and over again, Cody. I know everything that's gonna happen. Okay, then what happens next? Come to my house, I'll show you. So what happens next, Junior? Okay, so you bring a deck of cards out and you suggest playing a card game. Yeah, I did bring my deck of cards. Yeah, and you say if I can guess the top card correctly, you won't throw the cards all over the place. I was gonna say that. The top card is the two of diamonds. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the two of diamonds. I told you, I've relived this day over and over and over again. The second card is the jack of hearts. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the Jack of Hearts! This is amazing! So you believe me now? I've relived this day over and over? Well, yeah, Junior, this is pretty incredible, but wait, what's the next card? We haven't gotten that far. You've never showed me the third card. Well, just guess, for fun. <sighs> the Three of Leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Cody, just flip it over! Okay, let me see. Nah, Junior, it's the Three of Diamonds. Sorry, I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. You said it was just for fun! Nah, you still got it wrong. Oh, Cody, but you do believe me that I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the only explanation. It's kind of like that movie Groundhog Day. What, what do you mean? Well, you know, that movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, where he relives Groundhog Day over and over again? How's he fix it? Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen the movie. I can't remember. Well, come on, Cody, help me! Uh, you know what? I'll watch it, and then I'll tell you tomorrow. Well, I don't have till tomorrow, Cody! Duh! What do you say the name of the movie was? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to bed, and, and this is just a nightmare. Tomorrow will be a new day. Tomorrow will be a new day, and, and I'm not gonna relive this day. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed again. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna wake up, and tomorrow's gonna be a whole new day. A whole new day, and today is just a nightmare. I'm just reliving it, but but if I go to bed, tomorrow will be a whole nother day, and if it's not, I'm just gonna lose my mind. I, I, I won't be able to take it anymore. Okay, let me just try. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Let me guess, Tom Brady retired again? Oh man, you already seen the news on your phone, didn't you? <laughs> no, I already knew this was gonna happen. Then why did you tell me, Junior? Save me the heartache! <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong, Junior? You didn't get a lot of sleep? No, and the teacher's about to eat egg rolls. What? All right, Cross, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. How'd you know he was gonna get egg rolls? Lucky guess. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's so fat. What if she sees her shadow because she's so fat and round? That's a new one. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> the teacher's about to come back singing me, Rocky egg roll, get in my belly, and he's gonna choke on his egg roll and die. Me Rocky egg roll, me Rocky egg roll, get in my bell right, get in my bell right. All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> the teacher's choking. Oh, Junior, you caught it. You said this was gonna happen. Yeah, now he's about to fall over dead. He's dead. He's dead. That means no more school. <laughs> Junior, are you psychic or something? You just predicted everything that was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm like, that's so raven. I can tell you everything that's about to happen. The doctor's about to come in and do a death check, and then he's gonna say there's crisis counselors, and then he's gonna eat a fortune cookie. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. The man just died. Why would he eat a fortune cookie? He's gonna open it. It's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. And then he's gonna say, if only the teacher would have read this sooner. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Junior, what is going on? You must really be psychic. Yeah, I'm psychic. Come to my house. I'll prove it. Okay. Okay, Junior, if you're really psychic, I have a deck of cards here. So tell me what- The top cards are two of diamonds. Really? Wow, it is the two of diamonds, but I bet you can't The next card is the jack of hearts. Um, damn, it is the jack of hearts. That's that's crazy. Okay, but The next card is the three of diamonds. What? No way. Come on, Junior, this is nuts. What's going on? Okay, Cody, listen, I'm not psychic, but I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again, and this is the fourth day I've relived this day. Well, do you want to guess what the fourth card is, just for fun? I don't know what it is because I didn't relive that day. Well, just guess, just for fun. Uh, the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Just flip it, Cody. Okay. 
No, it's the seven of spades. Those are leaves. Those are seven of leaves. No, those are called spades. They have stems, Cody. Those are leaves. Okay, well, you still got it wrong, so I'm going to have to mess your shit up. But I uh, thought, you thought you said it was just for fun. Nope, you still got it wrong. But Cody, listen, I've been reliving the same day over and over again. I'm going crazy. I want to kill myself. Oh, it's like the movie Groundhog's Day. What? Yeah, yes, Cody, how's that movie end? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I could watch it and tell you tomorrow. No, no, Cody, listen, right now, Google the ending of the movie. How's he fix it? Okay, let me look it up. Uh, it looks like he's just nice to everybody. So he just does nice things for people? Yeah, he's, he's just nice to everyone, and that makes the day end. Okay, so tomorrow, if I wake up and I repeat this same stupid day, if I'm nice to everyone, it'll fix it. Yeah, I guess so. But if you're gonna do that, I want you to give me a big, wet, sloppy kiss right on the lips. That would make me very happy. Okay. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go to bed and do nice things for people tomorrow. Good night, Cody. Good night. I'm looking forward to that kiss. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do nothing but nice things for everyone. I'm gonna do nice things for everybody, and that'll fix it. Hopefully. So I'm just gonna go to sleep. <sighs> Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> Don't worry, Chef Pee Pee, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay! <laughs> yeah, it is, Chef Pee Pee. We have all those memories watching them, and there's also one more goat left in the world. <laughs> Who's that? You! You're the Tom Brady of chefs! Really? Yeah. Junior, I love you. Look, come downstairs. I made you something special. <laughs> Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Oh, wow, Chef PB. That looks delicious. I know, right? I thought of it last night. It's crazy. It's one of a kind. I was just eating ravioli, and I said, instead of red sauce, let's put grape jelly in that thing. Yeah, that's breakfast. That's breakfast right there. Okay, well, I'm going to eat every bite just for you, Chef PB. Really, Junior? Yeah, really. I'm going to eat it. Junior, be honest with me. How was it? Oh, it was the greatest thing I ever eaten. Really? So I should submit it to a cooking contest? Oh, oh yeah. I, <laughs> I definitely would. I gotta go to school, Chef Pee Pee. Yes! Oh, man, I'm a goat. All right, Kraus. So today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's really skinny and not fat at all. But, uh, are you joking? No, I'm being completely serious. I'm sorry for all the fat jokes I've ever said about your mom. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you, Junior. You want to grab my butt? Oh, boy, would I? Ugh. Oh, that is a firm rump. Thanks. Dude, you're being really nice today. Yeah, I just want to be really nice to everyone. I mean, since we're doing that, can I borrow $5? Yeah, sure. Have my lunch money for the whole week. Woohoo! Appreciate it, bro. Black Panther was the best movie ever made. And Colin Kaepernick was the best quarterback ever. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. You're a true friend. You're a true friend. <laughs> Me, Rocky Agro. Me, Rocky Agro. Get in my bell rack. Get in my bell rack. All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll and then we'll get started. The teacher's choking. We should do something. What are we gonna do, dude? We're just kids. I'll save him. I'll save you. <laughs> oh, Junior, you save my life. You get A for the rest of the year. Now I'm gonna open up my fortune cookie. Junior, you're a hero. Darn it, the teacher didn't die, so now I'm gonna stay in school. You will live a wrong, prosperous life. Thanks to Junior, I will. My boy, my homie. Random classroom death check. Anybody dead in here? No? Okay. All right, class, since I almost died today, but I live thanks to Junior, I'm gonna go home and bang my wife with my two-inch Punisher to celebrate. So all of you can go home. Woohoo, dude, I'm gonna go spend my five dollars. <laughs> hey, Junior, you wanna go back to your house and hang out? Yeah, come on, buddy. So, Cody, what do you wanna do for the rest of the day? Well, I was thinking we could play a card game. You wanna play blackjack or poker? So, which card game would make you the happiest? Uh, well, I was thinking you could guess whatever card's on the top, and if you get it wrong, I'll throw the cards all over the place. How about I give you a big, fat kiss instead? Oh, I'd like that even more. All right, pucker up. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, th that made you happy, Cody? Ah, uh, two would make me even more happy. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay, are you happy now? Are you happy? Yeah, but I'd be even more happy if we had a sleepover and I was the Big Spoon. Come on, Cody. Really? <laughs> big Spoon coming through. <sighs> uh, Cody, your leg's digging into my butt. <laughs> That's not my leg. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Junior. This better work. 
Junior, it's pouring rain outside and the roads are flooded, so school was canceled. Uh, morning, Pee Pee. Oh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Cody, why are you in the bed with Junior? Uh, Junior wanted this. Well, wait a minute. What's today's date, Chef Pee Pee? February 3rd. Wait, when did Tom Brady retire? Yesterday. <gasps> hey, guys, it worked. It's a new day. Yeah, it worked. Give me a big old smooch, Junior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck off me, Cody. It worked, Chef Pee Pee. It worked. I don't know what you're talking about. It worked, Cody. It worked. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the house to ourselves since Jeffy's out playing bowl the ball with his friends. You mean bowling? Oh, that's a clever name for it, Marvin. They should call it that. They do. Well, they will now since you said it. Well, Marvin, you should go downstairs and lock the front door. Ooh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we don't want just anybody walking in because who knows where we'll end up. Okay, I'll go lock it. Let me just lock the door. Marvin, hurry! Ooh, freaky time! All right, Jeffy, I have a 115. That means you have to get a nine to tie or 10 points to win. I'm going to get a strike. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know you're not. Yeah. It's going, it's going. Ha, Jeffy, you got a seven. That means you have to get two to tie and all of them to win. Well, I'm going to get all of them. Yeah, right, you can't get all of them. You're going to lose. No, I'm not. I'm going to win. Yeah, we'll see about that, guys. All right. All right, Jeffy, you got this. All you gotta do is get three little pins and you win. Oh. Ah! He didn't get a single pin! Ah! You suck at bowling, Jeffy, you lose! I don't suck at bowling! I hate losing at bowling! And I hate locked doors more! Let's try that again! That's one way again, Sean. Oh, baby, that was amazing. Marvin, you didn't even make it to five Mississippis. I made it to four Mississippis, and that's a new record. How many Mississippis do you need? Mama needs a lot of Mississippis. And then you can name all 50 states and start on countries. All right, baby, let's watch a movie. What do you want to watch? Um, let's watch Came in 60 Seconds. I mean, Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay. Marvin, you should go unlock the door downstairs in case Jeffy comes home. Good idea, baby. What the? Pinecone dick. What? Acorn balls. Jeffy, I'm being serious. You need to listen to me right now. Old cherry stem dick curves to the side. Jeffy, listen to me. Did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, but, but you seem mad. I am mad, Jeffy, because someone threw a bowling ball through the front door and you went bowling with your friends. I ain't go bowling with my friends. I've been here all night. I don't even like bowling. Bowling's gay. So you're telling me you didn't go bowling with your friends? Nope. Well, someone threw a bowling ball through the front door. I know, and I heard it too. And whoever did it, they did it twice. Because the first time, the bowling ball didn't break the glass. How do you know? I don't know. I heard it. Well, Jeffy, if you're telling me the truth, did you throw a bowling ball through the front door? No, I did not. Okay, well, I'm going to call the cops and find out who did it. Yeah, and I think you should, too, because there's a bowling ball abandoned on the loose going around throwing bowling balls at people's front doors because it's locked. Okay, well, I'm... How'd you know the door was locked? Lucky guess. All right, well, I'm calling the cops. If I find out it was you, you're so grounded. You're going to military school. You're going to be kicked out on the streets. I'm going to make sure you never step foot in this house again. Oh, bowling pin dick. Jeffy, stop. Sit. Ow! Okay, I'll see you then. Please hurry. Marvin, what was all that shouting? Someone threw a bowling ball through our front door. What? Yeah, there's glass everywhere. I just called the cops, and they're on their way. What? Who would do that? I have no idea. Someone who wanted to cause our life a lot of problems. That must be the cops. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, you don't even have to open the door. I'm right here. Oh, hey. What's up, brother? What was that? I don't know. Just a thing people are saying. This is serious. There's broken glass all on my door. Yeah, I was just going to say, who did you piss off? The Incredible Hulk? No? Yeah, I, I can do better. Uh, who, who knocked on your front door last? The Incredible Hulk? <laughs> yeah, 
It's not really working, is it? Okay, how about this? Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the glass in your front door, because I'm the Incredible Hulk, and when I knocked, it broke the glass. Stop with the Incredible Hulk jokes. They're not funny. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, 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 that's working. Uh, who did you piss off? A rock thrower? Y you know, because they say don't throw rocks at glass houses in glass houses? Who did you piss off? The rock? Painted green, so he looks like the Incredible Hulk. Oh, take this seriously! Listen, the crime was committed. Someone broke into my house with a bowling ball. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll come in. But um, do I open the door or just crawl in through the hole? Just crawl in. <laughs> this is silly. See, look, there's a bowling ball right here, and someone threw this through my door. And look at all this glass. Did they steal anything? No, they just threw the bowling ball and left. My God, I can only think of one man who would leave a bowling ball as a calling card. Who? Bobby Bowling Hands. Bobby Bowling Hands? Who's that? Yeah, let's come upstairs and I'll tell you. Let's get away from all this glass. Okay. Oh good, Marvin, the cops are here. What's he saying? I have a story about who I think the perp is. Bobby Bowling Hands. Bobby Bowling Hands? Yeah, sit back. Let me tell you about him. So you remember the story about my nemesis in high school, Billy Bowling Hands, who lost his hands in a train accident, replaced them with bowling balls, he was really good at bowling, I challenged him to a swimming race, he drowned, you know the story. Well, Billy had a younger brother named Bobby Bowling Hands. I had a wood shop class with him, and he was so sad about his brother Billy dying, that while we were cutting wood for a wooden race car project, he cut his hands off and replaced them with bowling balls like his brother. Ironically, he wasn't as good at bowling. He wanted to avenge his brother's death by getting payback on me, so he asked me if he could wash my car to save up cash for his brother's funeral, so I felt bad for him and I told him yes, but washing a car with bowling ball hands went about as well as you'd expect. He dented my car all over and smashed the windshield. I was so mad, I just knew he did it on purpose. Then, at prom, I was with my hot date and I asked Bobby if he would get me a glass of punch, so he tried to grab the ladle to pour some punch into the cup, but his bowling ball hands smashed the bowl and made the punch spill all over my date and my rented white suit. It was so embarrassing. I just know Bobby did it on purpose. So I just know that bowling ball through your front door is because of Bobby. He's always trying to make my life more inconvenient just because his brother died. Well, that would make sense if there was a bowling ball through your front door, but the bowling ball went through my front door. It has nothing to do with you. Well, you see, Marvin, that's the genius of Bobby. He's a born tactician. Every move is a pawn off the board. He's playing four-dimensional chess, Marvin. He knows that I'm over here all the time because he's probably been following me. So he knew that you would have me fix your front door for $500, and of course I'm going to do it because it's $500. I wasn't going to ask you to fix my door. I was going to call a company. Well, you see, Marvin, that's exactly the genius of it. He knew you were going to say no, and I would want $500. So I'm going to go downstairs and fix your front door, and you're going to give me $500, just like Bobby wants us to do. Because if we go off script, he's going to come up with something even worse. This way, whenever he shows up, we'll be ready for him. That ought to do it. All right, Marvin, the door's fixed. What, what is this? A fixed door? Well, no, 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 I didn't want wood. I want a glass right here. What, so another bowling ball can come crashing through? I don't think so, Marvin. This is Brazilian mahogany. Nothing's breaking through that, except for maybe the Incredible Hulk. But you're not going to see him or piss him off because he's not even real. And even if he was, I don't know why he would come here. He'd be at my house because I have animal crackers. I think he'd like that. What, no, I want a whole new door. A whole new door. Y you know, Marvin, like the song from Aladdin, don't you dare close Close your eyes. Listen, listen, listen. I wanted a brand new door with glass. Because how am I going to see who's at the door if someone comes to the door? Well, that's exactly the point, Marvin. It'll be a surprise every time. It could be a serial killer or it could be an Amazon Prime package. You won't know until you open the door. Go get me a new door. Okay, well, you owe me $500 for this. I'm not paying $500 for this crappy duct tape job. Okay, well, give me $500 and I'll go buy you a new door. You promise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's $500. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take this and go to the door store. Here I go. To the door store. Okay, I'll be back. Sure I will. What'd you say? I said I'll be back, and then I said sure I will. Just reassuring you that I will be back. You better come back. I will. Sure I will. <sighs> Marvin, did he fix the front door? I mean, not really. He just put wood over where the glass used to be. Oh no, Marvin. What are we going to do? What if Bobby Bowlinghands comes back? Baby, I don't think there ever was a Bobby Bowlinghands. I think he just wanted an excuse to make $500. Well, what do we do, Marvin? I don't know. I just wish there was a way that we could really see what happened to our front door. Hey, we could always check the Nest doorbell camera. Oh yeah, baby. Check the app. Okay. See what the footage says. Let's see. Oh, Marvin? <laughs> It was Jimmy! It was Jimmy! Marvin, we should have known! Oh, give me the phone! I'm gonna go beat some ass! Oh, I'll beat some ass tonight! Jimmy! Jimmy's not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the... Uh, uh.
Jeffy, I can't wait to see you try to get out of this one. So earlier I asked you if you threw a bowling ball through the front door and you said, fuck no. Exactly. Now press play on this video and you tell me what you see. That is not me. Oh, that's not you? No, that's my cousin. First name Ree, middle name Tar, last name Did. Oh, so that's not you, that's your cousin. Yep. Jeffy, I know that too, and why did you do it? Well, someone decided to lock the front door. How else was I supposed to get in? Ring the doorbell? Too hard. Oh, that's it. I'm beating some ass. You bend over, some ass beating's about to happen. You cannot touch me, or else I will call Child Protective Services on your bitch ass. Ow, 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 help, help, hey. Hey! Hey, stop it! Jeffy, that is it. I am gonna go in your piggy bank and I'm gonna take all the money so I can buy a new door. You don't touch my piggy bank, you bitch! Me! Don't touch it! Oh, Jeffy's gonna get it now. Marvin, what are you doing? I'm gonna break open Jeffy's piggy bank and get my money back for my door. Marvin, don't! Mommy, stop him! I don't know what to do! You asked for this, young man, and now you're gonna get it. No, Piggy, no! <laughs>
side when everyone thought you were fine i thought you were so lucky because you were a star but you cried 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 in the lonely dark and i cried for what you went through i always thought the lucky one was you but the lucky one was me i know you made some mistakes but we're all only human you were judged for everything they put the blame on you and you were pushed over the edge it ain't right what they allege i thought you were so lucky but the lucky one was me i thought you were so lucky because you were a star but you cried 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 in the lonely dark and the lonely dark inside for what you went through i always thought the lucky one was you but the lucky one was me
50. Because I wanted to do it twice. That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh-huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's going to do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no, Jeffy, listen. She's not going to do it at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> what? No, Jeffy, I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What do you want me to do what she does for a living? What? No, Jeffy, just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just, no, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So we can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. <sighs> I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job. And he's 18 now, so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get like a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's it's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby. It's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine. I'll let you go first. Well, no, Jeffy. Me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy. It's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on their profile. Jeffy, no, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they gonna be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's gonna look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's gonna ruin the car. It's time to jeffy fight this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray painting my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hoes. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, Shibby. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Holes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get some Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> let's try some tunes. All right. <laughs> I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. It's gonna help me do it. Woo! What, Jeffy, what was that noise? I don't know, Junior just keeps singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to I, pull hose. I think hose, you hit something. Pull, no, I didn't, Junior just keep singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, hit it and quit it, just like I used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Hmm. So we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, S Simmons, like, it, it, was, it was a yellow car and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? <sighs> okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayer mobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm gonna go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Daddy! Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Daddy, completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm gonna need that hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. Well, no, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news! Breaking news, okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. 
Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no! I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it! They forgot my toy! Wait a minute. Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy. And that hole looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go. Or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking here. But like you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? If you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there! Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Well, no, S Simmons, I'm saying that we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you going to get, mate? I I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you have to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What would do? Do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, yeah, yeah sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it was my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on the bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh god, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm. Damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me, the kid woke up from his coma. So I'm gonna go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? What is my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy. Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah, I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden this car came, and I tried to jump over with my spider powers, but I didn't. Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah! Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him, I met him. Or maybe I didn't. Did you meet him or not? I don't know, maybe maybe I met him, maybe the kid was him, maybe he was the kid, I don't know, maybe he's Spider-Man, maybe he's not, who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that, he's not He's not Spider-Man, unless he is Spider-Man, I, I don't know, I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real, and I met him, maybe. Well, oh, okay, so what's going on, is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no, I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man, you said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, uh, did you learn a lesson from today? Daddy, she agreed to meet here! Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her! Who's that? It, it, them! Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20 bucks. Hey, guys! Ah! Billy, what are you doing? 
doing here? I want to play a game. No, Billy, we don't want to play your games. Leave. Oh, come on, Marvin. It's just a really quick card game. It's called Find the Ace of Sp... AIDS. I don't want to play your stupid card game. I see the AIDS needle right there. No, you don't. It's right there. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just put your hand in there and grab a random card. If I grab a random card, will you leave? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, what card should I grab? Oh, my God, he just stabbed me with the AIDS needle. You know AIDS. Oh, my God, call a doctor. Marvin, look the news. Breaking news, okay? The cure for AIDS has been found. Me and two other people are the reason. Let's go to our interview now. Ah, you scared me. Hello, it's me, Mr. Goodman. I'm here with Dr. Brooklyn T. Guy and his nurse Susan Smith. Dr. Guy here found the cure for AIDS with Nurse Susan using the money I donated to fund the research. We did it, guys. No more AIDS. Woohoo! Oh my god, they have a cure. I'm saved. Marvin, we have to get you to the hospital. Let's go. What? They have a cure for AIDS? <laughs> no, my life is over. I'm nothing if I'm not giving random people AIDS. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get my revenge on that doctor and the nurse and that rich guy. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead! What, what, where the hell am I? I would like to play a game! Oh, Jesus, Billy, not you again. Oh, it's me again. So, you like curing AIDS, huh? Oh, that's what this is about? You're mad that I cured AIDS? Yeah, and since you like figuring out really hard stuff, I got a lot of really hard stuff for you to figure out. Oh, please, do tell. So... How's your day going? It's been pretty shitty. Oh, perfect! Cause I'm about to make it shittier. That's great. So, you are currently strapped into an electric chair that is set to go off in two minutes! Two minutes, got it. So you see a spoon, yeah? Let's just say it's not a spoon for eating booty pebbles! Yeah, I didn't think it would be. So you're gonna take this spoon and you're gonna dig out your eyeball with it because I put a key behind your eye. And once you get the key, you're gonna use it to unlock this saw to cut off your right hand. And once your right hand is cut clean off, I personally will give you the code to turn off the circuit breaker, to turn off the electric chair. Ready, set, go. No, 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 you stop that timer. I have questions, okay? What questions do you have? Okay, well, like, why do I have to do all this stuff? I mean, I feel like a normal person would only have one of these tasks. I feel like you had a lot of ideas, so you just did all of them. Because you pissed me off. Okay, but, like, I have only two minutes to, like, scoop my eye out with this spoon. I I'm gonna need at least five to work up the courage. Well, you only have a minute and 40 seconds now. No, 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 you're gonna stop that goddamn timer because you need to explain some things. <sighs> fine. What do I need to explain? Okay, well, like, you didn't even tell me what I am supposed to scoop out. Okay, that's for you to figure out. No, 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 this is bullshit. You need to explain this. Okay, I guess I'll give you a hint then. Let's just say, I hope you pick the right one. Okay, my right eye, got it. Wait, 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 hold on. My right or your right? Right. Wait, no, no, you need to give me something more to go on than that. Okay, let's just say, lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't help at all. That's more confusing. I wish you hadn't even said that. Enough questions. Go. What? No, but like what? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go my right then because you're a trickster and you like jokes and that's the one you would pick. I don't know. Oh, Jesus, just shut up and let me do this. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got the eye out, but I don't feel a fucking key, Billy. Where's the key, Billy? Well, I guess you didn't pick the right one. Oh, God damn it! I knew you were going to pull something like this. So you tricked me with the lefty Lucy thing. I thought you meant my left eye was loose and your right. Well, I told you like three times it was your right eye. God damn it. Okay, okay, I'll do the other one. Just give me a minute, okay? I need a minute. Are you sure you want to take a minute? You're running out of time. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. God damn it. Just... <laughs> oh, God! Okay. Okay, I got the key out, but my eyes are all dangling and I look like a snail. Well, I really hope you're not as slow as a snail, because you only have one minute and four seconds left. Okay, okay, I'm gonna unlock it. I just... I can't see with my eyes like this! Oh, let me help you, buddy! Oh, thank you, that's very nice of you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. 
Ooh, okay. Okay, guy, here we go. Okay, all you gotta do is cut your hand off and you're free. You're doing a great job. Hey, how much time do I have left? 46 seconds. Okay, can you, can you give me another minute? This is gonna hurt really bad. No! I gave you a hand earlier when I helped you with the lock. Now it's your turn to give me your hand. Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Ah, oh, oh, God! Okay, okay, I cut my hand off, Billy. What's the code? The code is zero. Zero. Hurry up. Zero. Like what the timer would be at if you didn't make it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, zero. Zero. I can't see with my eyes like this. You said it was three zeros. Yeah, it was three zeros. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, okay, I did it. Oh, man. You turned it off with one second left. Wait, why did I even have to turn it off? I could have just gotten up. Oops. Oh, by the way, the saw that you cut your right hand off with was covered in AIDS, so you now have AIDS! <laughs> okay, well we cured AIDS, so that's not really a problem, but I guess I'll go put my eyes back in. Oh man, baby, I'm so glad they were able to cure my AIDS. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Marvin. Hey guys, you're never gonna believe where I just got back from. Brazil? No, not Brazil. Greece? Okay, you can stop guessing. Where'd you get back from? Well, you remember that creepy little clown from Saw Billy? Oh yeah, we saw him earlier. <laughs> Yeah, well, I saw him, too, when he strapped me up in this contraption and I had to cut my hand off to get free. Wait, you had to cut your hand off? Oh, my God! Yeah, oh, my God is right. I mean, luckily, I put it on ice, so I was able to reattach it, but look, it has no feeling at all anymore. And the worst part is I had to scoop both of my eyeballs out with a spoon. Wh why would you have to do that? He's really pissed off that I cured AIDS. Oh, well, I mean, at least you escaped, so that means he won't go after you again. Yeah, let's hope. I am kind of worried about my nurse, though. I don't think he'll go after her. I think he's only mad at you. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Someone help me! No one can hear you. Who are you? The name's Billy, and I would like to play a game. What game? You are currently chained to a wall with a bear trap behind your head. A bear trap? No, no, no. I wouldn't move around too much. You might set off the bear trap. What do you want me to do? Well, you like helping doctors cure AIDS. Well, I would like a little bit of help. You see, I have this sandwich that I wasn't able to finish earlier. I was wondering, will you help me finish the sandwich? Okay. Did I forget to mention that the sandwich is made from human meat? I can't eat that. I'm a vegetarian. Well, you better eat it in the next 60 seconds or else the bear trap will close on your head, exposing your brain. Ready, Sad. go. Okay, I'll try. Uh, oh, I can't do it. It's too disgusting. Oh, come on. The clock's ticking. Yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, you know what? How about I help you? Here, here, look. Here comes the airplane. Wait, wait. Can I, can I get some salt and pepper to mask the taste? Oh, let me check. Oh, I only have pepper. That's fine. Put it on. Okay. messed up. You sneezed on my sandwich. Man, now I gotta throw it away. What a waste. Oh, come on, answer. Answer. Mm, Susan's not answering her phone. I'm starting to get worried. I'm gonna go back to where Billy had me tied up and see if she's there. <sighs> what the fuck? Charles, help! I slept with a kinky bitch again and she left me tied up. Hey there. Oh my God, Charles, she's hideous. She's a drunk too. She wears too much makeup and too much eyeliner. She's got a parent nose. She's one of those emo bitches. You know the words you say could really hurt. Listen, I'm sorry, but if I slept with you, I must have been drunk as fuck. Oh my God, we didn't have sex. Oh, thank God. Listen, I want to play a game. Okay, listen, I'll only let you suck it if you put a bag on your head and you shut up. Listen, I said I want to play a game. Since you like to fund the cure for AIDS so much, I want you to take this blowtorch and burn all your money. And if you do, I'll let you go. But if you don't, I'll cut your balls off with this machete. Cut them off. What? Yeah, I'll never hurt money. Go ahead and cut off my balls. Well, are you serious? Because I, I will literally let you go if you just burn this money. No, cut off my balls. If we had sex, then I definitely don't want balls on me anymore because I don't want the chlamydia to go any further. You know what? Screw this! <laughs> No, as long as the money is safe. You know what? New game! You're gonna take this saw and cut off your legs. And if you don't do it within 60 seconds, the room will fill up with poison gas. And you'll 
die. Oh. Josh, help! She's a crazy bitch! I think I'm in love! What the? <gasps> Chimes! Chimes, help! I can't breathe, Chimes! Help! Susan? Susan, does he have you trapped in here? What, what smells like poison gas? Oh, it's probably this poison gas machine. I should turn that off. Yeah, it's much better. Susan? Oh my god, Susan! She's fucked! Save me! Okay, okay! Hey guys, I'm back. <gasps> Did you find your nurse? Yeah, I found her, but her head was crushed in a bear trap. Oh my god! Yeah, and he cut Goodman's balls off. Which is good news for me, Marvin, because now I can't get hookers pregnant. Uh, you have to go catch Billy and arrest him! Well, that's the problem, Marvin. He's hard to catch. He's like a weasel. They made ten movies. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. So all I can really say is, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, because he's killing everybody out here.